Our campaign's focus is celebrating every body and the importance and impact of seeing realistic and relatable bodies on TV and in our media. But when results from our exclusive survey found that six in 10 women still don't think there's enough body diversity in the media, it would appear there's a long way to go. Um, Katie, just how important is it that we see versions of ourselves on screen, on the big screen, in our newspapers and our magazines? Yeah, it's important for everybody as well as minority groups. And I, and I think it, I want to acknowledge how much progress has been made because five years ago, I don't think we'd even see this panel on Loose Women. So I do feel really optimistic about um, the change in diversity and maybe the authenticity of the conversations that are being opened up. It feels like people genuinely want to see more. And I think with social media now, you can find out what the public want because you get to listen to their, mm -hmm. their tweets and their comments. And I think that's really powerful. Mm -hmm. I'd say from a personal point of view, um, I don't have any colleagues that look like me, I'm always the only burnt or facially disfigured person uh, wherever I work, you know, not, not just mm -hmm. here on Loose Women. And whilst I'm really grateful for all the privileges and all the opportunities, I'd like to see more people like me. You know, where I would see other people with facial burns would be at award ceremonies when they're getting the award, when mm -hmm. they're getting a Pride of Britain. Mm -hmm. uh, if I go to a charity event and people are fundraising for equipment for that person, you know, I'd like to see other TV presenters with facial disfigurements. Mm -hmm. I'd like to meet CEOs with facial burns. Mm. Um, mm. because it's not a person that drives change. You know, just me sat here doesn't drive change enough. It, it might mm. plant seeds. It's a group of people together that are passionate about change mm. that really makes a difference. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Having said that, you sitting here can inspire a whole host of different people with a whole host of different issues as well. Like, mm. there is an inspirational thing involved. I well, get a lot, lot of issues, so, yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's very true. I mean, even yeah, as I was I growing up, Gloria, I have to say, like, Gloria was our, you know, legend god on really? the telly. Of course yeah. you were, yeah. Of course. What and did like, you used to think? I used to think I'll never meet her. And here <laughs> I am. <laughs> But I'm just saying about how you, you remember, even as a kid, yeah. like things do, they plant yeah. seeds in your mind, particularly yeah. as a youngster. Yeah. And, I, and I remember you on the telly and thinking, wow, imagine, imagine, mm. you know, I'm very glad to be an icon to somebody, Christine, so thank you very much <laughs> for that. But it's quite interesting because um, there'd be lots of people my age and beyond even, when we were growing up, there was no pressure, or not the big pressure there is now, for young people. So life has changed a lot. And I think that the improvement of diversity on the screen yeah. has also improved a lot in recent times and people are conscious of it now. Uh, from my point of view, um, I must just tell you a quick story. When I did The Masked Singer just a year ago, uh, they said to me, you're the oldest person who has done this. And I went, really? Well, that's, that's pretty good. So I think, I have got a title here. And what did Dick Van Dyke do recently oh, in America? Oh, yes! yes. 97. Yeah. <laughs> so I've lost the title, but anyway, uh, at least I could go until 97 or 100. There you go. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I actually, because uh, Katie was speaking personally, from my point of view, I am all about energy. I just want energy these days. I don't look in the mirror and criticise myself, but I could do it, but I don't. Because all I want when I get up in the morning is to know that my body's working, <laughs> that I've got the energy to do whatever I want to do, mm -hmm. whether it's work or mm -hmm. whether it's play or seeing my grandchildren look at a billboard. Yolanda, thank you. Um, <laughs> you know, so energy and attitude. And you see, when I look around this table and I, I, I really feel it... Uh, such a, a credit to be able to be amongst uh, loose women because I see attitude all the time. Attitude in doing what you're doing, attitude in dealing with adversity. And sometimes, you know, we know that life is going to throw stuff at us. Stuff comes whether you like mm. it or not. Mm. But the attitude of how you deal with it is really important. Mm. And I think that's what we see here. Yeah. And, and <clears throat> also, from my own point of view, um, you know, the age thing, not everybody wants to work in their 80s. They don't particularly. I do, because I love what I do. I learn something every day. I meet lovely people every day in the audience and on, at the desk here. And so, therefore, um, that's what I would like to, I would want to do. And Dick Van Dyke has set the, the bar now. Um, but on the other hand, a lot of people like to retire early. It's whatever you want to do. But going back to the bodies, I think that we, these days we can all be happy with our bodies. Yeah. Wow.